Hey, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play in Minecraft. This is Dallas here, and we are back in the logging camp. Ah, uh, yes. Microsoft's greatest achievement with Minecraft. Adding emotes. Yes. And there's only like 5 or 10% you can unlock in-game. The rest, oh no, the rest you have to buy with real money. Welcome back to <laughs> another Minecraft video where I'm complaining right off the bat. What I've been doing in between episodes is, well, working on this logging camp. I have been making this forest bigger, mainly. Um, and as well, as you can see, we got some mud tracks, which are pretty cool. Um, I mainly just used whatever, what is this called again? Muddy mangrove roots. I made that. I put those sideways because they look like tracks, and I surrounded it with wood here, and as you can see, I made a build over here. We got a wooden bridge, and then the muddy tracks continue. What I made is a little tractor, which is mainly the tractor that we are using to cut down all of the trees in this place. And I love the way it turned out. It's a very simple looking copper machine, and I, I love the saw design. I swear, this block right here might just be one of the best building blocks in the game. Um, but yeah, this is our machine. We hop up in here. It's kind of down in the mud a bit. We got a couple trees cut down But I have been expanding this forest over this way I just want it to be somewhat big and I also put a bridge right here and this little well It's not really an island this extension of that land. I put down coarse dirt and I'm gonna put down a bunch of cut down trees here What planet have we got? Uranus? Uranus, I mean, yeah, Uranus, and that's, I think that might be Europa. So I'm continuing to work on my, well, well, I'm actually slowly merging my wasteland biome with this place, which I think is a really good idea because I think what I'm turning these areas into is to make it look like I am ruining the ecosystem with my building. So I planted a bunch of trees out here. I continued my tracks out here, but more in a dry fashion. So we got that, what is that called? Packed mud, yeah. And then rooted dirt and mixed with brown concrete powder to create some tracks here. I see it better from up here. I made some more stumps. I'm probably going to put them all throughout here as well, but not all the way into the biome. Make it look like we're cutting all those down. Just a few more log piles. I'm actually building another machine like this right there, but it's going to have a claw on it and making it look like it's placing this top log on there. I think this is pretty fun. I'm probably going to tear down a few more of these trees to make it look like we are slowly moving from there to here and cutting all this down. And eventually, I think I want to turn this biome into just a wasteland where we have a bunch of trash. So I was looking at this and I was like, you know, this looks cool within itself. Maybe we can throw a bunch of these around, make it look like old parts. I almost want to make an area that looks like a landfill where there's just a bunch of junk everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to build this and see how this looks. I got a little gripping arm on there on the size. It looks like it's about to grab that. Looking cool. And I know this is a very basic looking tractor. I really want to make a big one. But these things are, you know, they're hard to make. I ain't gonna lie. This one right here alone, I mean, the problem that took me the longest is figuring out how to design these. And look, here, even more of these. These are literally one of the best building blocks. Right now, I am sort of just making a bunch of random components on this to make it look useful, such as here. Just random pipes and levers to make it look important like that's the hydraulics on the back side i'm gonna put a lever right there piston right here maybe throw a hopper and then a hopper into that actually i want that lever to go right here to make it look like oh no wrong one put that right there to make it create this doohickey that looks interesting there stuff and things to make it look like it's being powered <laughs> put a ladder right here and then i put black stained glass in here so since these are little cabs, uh, I might bring out some, actually I will, I'm going to bring out some villagers and put them in there and turn some of you guys into workers so we can have a whole logging crew. Um, I think I'm going to make another one of these bottom parts, but forget the top part and the crane, but make an area where you could stand, but also have a chain behind it and make it look like it's dragging some of these big logs. I think that'd be cool. I love this just tunnel right here. It looks like one of these tractors just plowed its way through here. Um, I'm building a tent too because I'm tired of running over there to get supplies I need a little tent to just put an anvil in and places to repair my tools. I've already repaired this many times but Yeah, this is a cool little tent wouldn't you say but actually we're not done yet. I want to we <laughs> Compare that tent to this one. This is my old design right here. 
Remember these? Uh, these were nice. Oh, looky there. Luckily, Bob drops his leashes every once in a while. I need... You good, sir. Follow me. This is where I think we need variants in this game, such as slabs and stair versions of dirt or mud. We do have dried mud brick, but that's, I think, as close as we got. Well, I could put some wood down it. Similar in texture. Yeah, I remember this. Chickens are a pain in the butt. They just want to keep moving. Just stand still. Get in the hole. Get in the freaking hole. Just stop. Just stop for a second. Just stop moving. All you have to do is just stop moving. That's all you have to do. Just stop right there. Stop. Stop. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> Animals work way better than boats because boats like to glitch through the block you place it and mess up when you re-log back in. But yeah, that looks good. Ooh, baby, I love it when I get excited about builds. I've been in the process of... Does this look good? I don't know. Every time I walk... Yeah. I put a spruce fence there to make it look like, you know, maybe when the tree fell, a piece is sticking out. I think that looks fine. I'm, I, I actually spent forever trying to design some, like, really good stumps. These aren't even my final ones. They look better when you put a slab here, slab here, maybe a slab there, and maybe another stair here. So I need to go back and do that to some of these stumps. But I've been in the process bringing a villager over here. It's not been fun. I say that is because every time you approach a block like this, you have to go through the process of breaking a block down here, doing that, and then making him go up it. The process of moving villagers needs to be way more simplified. But this is currently the only way to do it. I think I'm just excited because I'm finally working in one of my favorite biomes, even though it's custom made. I could go around and put some boulders down, but I don't need to. This will be a boulderless biome. As you can see as well, I've been making the tent look better. I made an outside section because there's not a whole lot of room on the inside. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, as far as I'm aware, these guys can still stay in a place. They don't open gates, right? I sure hope they don't. There you go. I w oh, you're a leather worker. See, I want you to stay in that outfit. Uh, what do I trade? I don't... Uh, uh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Yes, I'll take that. Hey, this can be the logger's jacket, I guess. You son of a gun. You just destroyed my emerald supply. Everything is green in here, I just noticed. <laughs> I do have a lot of flint. I have never actually really unlocked... A leather worker to master trade. I'm guessing the last one's gonna be like a saddle or something. We'll find out. Ah, funny, your name's going to be Hunter. Hunter Met or Komet, I forgot how to pronounce his last name. He's the guy who donated a lot to this channel, so you are going to be the woodsman of these woods. I decided not to put anyone in these tractors because then I wouldn't be able to mess around with them. I still gotta put Rift's villager somewhere. I'm just very picky on where I wanna put it because I want him to be a, an important person. <laughs> Hey Hunter, um, wake up. Huh? Give it all back. Huh? Oh, you got a scoop trade. That's interesting. Huh? What is that? I don't want that. No, get back up. Stop being sleepy. Huh? All right, what? That? What? Huh? His master trade is a brown dyed helmet for five emeralds. That That is your master trade. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to buy it. I like keeping it dark out here, too. I don't want this place littered with lights. I want it to look like a proper forest. Okay, so I have been deforesting even more, as you can see over this way. This place was full of a forest over here. I have a double chest full of <laughs> even more wood now. And I was debating on tearing this one down, but I thought, you know what? I want to expand this forest even more. As you can see, I have been planting loads. I mean, loads of more of spruce trees. These ones up here are kind of hard because you got to build up a dirt path and place them down. And usually when I get trees like these, these really short ones, I tear them down because I like the tall ones. But to now, we have all of this to work with right here. So I'm going to continue building this tree line all through here. But I think over in this direction, I'm going to make more deforested parts and maybe another tractor because I want different segments in this forest to look like it's being deforested. And I'm also going to finally make a bridge right here which should have been done a long time ago. Ah, so this is the original tree line right here. And as you know, I've been planting all of those back there. And I just made this bridge and... Uh, 
I got a whole forest go. I think I planted about 50 or 60 more trees, somewhere around that range. But what I like that I did this time is that right where this bridge comes out, I made a tree line like this. So right down the middle, we can have this road, whatever. Oh my God, look how many trees there are now. Let's get a little higher. There's that village, by the way, the OG village. Oh, look at this. I'm probably gonna plant some more around here, thicken it up some. But I love having this strip down the middle because we can make a main road down here. And I thought even maybe we could swoop some like ropes across and hang some lights from them. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, I even went way up here. <laughs> I am actually creating my own Mega Taiga. And I left that blank down there because that's gonna be another logging operation. Oh my, I forgot that was a thing. What is even the point of this? You can load a firework into a crossbow. Oh, so this makes it where, because normally if you tap the ground with the firework, it goes straight up. This makes it where you can just. Oh, and have multi-shot. Oh my God, hang on. Hey, oh, they didn't go that far because I'm cheap and I make Flight duration ones. I literally forgot what this whole offhand was for, for the longest time. I know it's mainly for a shield, but I always wondered why when I would shift click my rockets, I always want them to go like maybe in my hotbar, but when I shift click them, they go up here and it's so annoying. I really don't know why they don't bring the combat update over here. It balances the game tremendously. As of right now, we can spam click anything and everything, and it makes a lot of things easier. I know it's a very controversial update, but I, I feel like it. this game needs it. Anyway, y'all, with this nice sunset, I'm going to go ahead and answer today's comment question, which comes from Just Dave. Do you drink tea? If so, which is your favorite? Huh. Um, matter of fact, I love tea. I It's like my main drink. Like when I go to restaurants, that's what I normally get. But I brew my own tea all the time. Um, but what do you, what kind? Now, here's the thing. I'm not a huge tea connoisseur. I know there's a lot of tea connoisseurs out there, and they have a lot of different brands that they prefer. But I literally go to the grocery store. I buy the 24-pack of Lipton <laughs> black tea. And I brew about four bags in a pot. And then I pour about, just, I put some sugar in it. <laughs> That's the kind of tea I like. I'm not a, I don't know. I'm not crazy about green tea. That's like the main thing I drink. I like drinking water, of course. My favorite, I guess, soda is Pepsi. Always would be a Pepsi guy. Hunter, I bought your stupid hat. Is this all it is? This is making me... It just blows my mind. That's all it is. It's, it's just a... Is that brown? Yeah, it's just a brown dyed hat. Or not even brown. It kind of looks grayish brown. It's been a darn long time since we've expanded our sunflower field, hasn't it? Well... In that case, boom, it's been expanded. I land on this, am I skilled enough? Of course I am. Yeah, I could take it all, I could, see I have a fence right there, I could continue that fence all the way down here, just continue this all. <laughs> but the thing is, me doing this, I'm losing a lot of building space. It looks cool, but I think this is about as big as it's going to get. I will expand a little bit more. Maybe I could surround the chapel in it. Speaking of the chapel, I think I want to work on this next episode. Mainly because you guys are absolutely insane and we're already running out of space. When I created this place, I honestly did not expect it to do this good. Like seriously, look at this. And this is just the wall of the mass, like the big donors. I mean, I really, I, I don't deserve this. <laughs> but what I'm wanting to do is I think like right here, maybe. I might have to move some of this around, or I could, no. Yeah, I think inside will be the best. I kind of want it to be hidden, too, but make an underground section. I'm still deciding if I want it to look like crypts, or... Well, the thing is, is not one of my villagers have died yet, which is you guys, all these people on this wall. And I could make crypts where there's graves, and then that's where the, your graves go, but I don't feel like you guys are going to be dying off anytime soon. So perhaps I'll just make some crypts and start putting some of the dono wall down there but in a more unique fashion you know so these are the ogs right here and then now we move on down to something even cooler i'll have to plan it out i got some cool ideas in mind but since we're here we might as well show these uh, like casey mcclar 
back with another huge donation. She made it on the wall, or he, see that's the thing, I don't know, that's a unisex name. And Spencer Hennis with a massive donation. He made it in the villager book and is on the wall. And yeah, you guessed it. Riff's Bedrock Adventure with not even just the limit up to get on the wall. He, whatever I build down there, I mean, Riff's, you're gonna have to have something special down here. Casey as well, she's, or he, she, he, I, Casey, tell me in the comments if you're a girl or a guy. I'm just gonna have to make something for everyone down there. I could even do that. Yeah, even everyone, I know it's going to be insane, but everyone in the books too, because I have a lot of books with all these people's names in it. I'm just trying everything in my power to promote you guys in my world who has helped me out on this channel. And um, sorry if this annoys some of you, but I really want to commemorate these people. So yeah, Spencer, you're now in the book. Thank you everyone who donated. <laughs> I truly do have the best fan base in Minecraft. How's this doing? I'm running out of paper. Not good. Oh God. So we have not been working around home a whole lot. My resources are slowly dwindling away. Remember all that gunpowder we had from working in the library? Yeah, it's almost all gone. I have like a stack and a half left of gunpowder. Just, just from flying everywhere because I'm a lazy slime. I might have to join my other accountant here and have him just go AFK around here. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching today's episode. I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.